do some gentle yoga today. So feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, sitting bones down, ribs in and up, shoulders back and down, mountain pose. And just let your body sink evenly into the base of your toes and heels and up through the crane. Take a few moments of breathing. Energy in, stress out, and just relax. And then inhaling, bring your arms to shoulder level, stretch out through your fingertips, up through the crown, shoulders down, hands to your heart, elbows back, stretch to the front, shoulders still down. And then bring your hands behind you, clasp the fingers, press them toward the floor, lift your heart, and then pivot at your hips as you exhale, coming over. Just let that lower back begin stretching a little bit more. Move your chin around. Let those neck areas release. Shoulders toward your waist while your hands go toward your head. Bend your knees and slowly work your way up. Lift your heart, drop your shoulders, stretch your head back. Keep lifting through the chest and don't lift your chin too high. Stretch through the back of the neck. Inhale to the top, release your arms, and just take a moment feeling your body as you come back to now. Again, the same thing, arms are reaching in, hands to your chest, keep those elbows up. Inhale out to the front, keep the shoulders still down, and then clasp your hands the opposite way behind you. Lift your heart, stretch your head back, spread your toes out. And again, pivot at your hips, coming all the way over. Hands up, head down, move around a little bit, and I think that's just release. Bend your knees, wind your way back to the top. Again, lift your heart, stretch your head back. Take a moment to breathe. On an inhalation, come up into mountain pose. Take a moment just feeling your spine a little bit more energized, getting ready to stretch our sides. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. <clears throat> Go ahead and clasp them. Bring your arms back by your ears and stretch. Stay facing the front as you lean to the side. Push the foot you're leaning away from down. Feel those ribs stretch apart. And then inhale back up. Switch the other hand to the front. Pull the arms back by your ears, sitting on stand, crown high. Lean to the other side, no twist. Just sinking the foot and reaching out through the hands. Take a few breaths, relaxing. On an inhalation, come up, shoulders down, arms out, and back to your sides. As you get back into that and pose again, just circle the shoulders. Let everything relax. Spread your toes and then stretch your spine apart for our twist. Arms out, palms to the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, clasp your elbows. Bring the arms by your ears, stretch up through your head and elbows and down through the sit bones. Stretching the spine, exhale into the chest. Take a breath, exhale over. Take a few moments there, just breathe, lift your sitting bones, relax, and don't forget to breathe. Stay in your twist, keep the weight on both feet on the way all the way back up, and lift your heart. Drop your shoulders, pull your elbows back. And again, just deepen into that upper body back bend while you're twisting. Inhale to the top, exhale around to the center, switch the arms around the other direction. And again, stretch the spine apart to exhale to the other side. Lengthen in the twist and keep the weight on both feet as you come on over. And again, just stay as deep in that twist as you like. Lift your sitting bones, keep your arms by your ears. And again, when you're ready, toes spreading and weight even on your feet as you work your way all the way up. And again, lift your heart, pull your elbows back and your shoulders down. Take a few more breaths, relaxing. And then inhale to the top, exhale around to the center, shoulders down, arms up. 
extended mountain dress. Keep stretching through the crown, through the fingertips, but keep the shoulder blades going towards your waist. Swan dive forward, arms at shoulder level. Oops, my ears. Arms at shoulder level, pivot forward, and stretch everything straight. Exhale down into ragdoll. A little, a little deeper with your hands behind your legs, tuck in your chin, pull your forehead towards your legs. And then release your hands and roll one more time from the bottom of your spine all the way up. Shoulders coming back and down. Take a breath as you get back into mountain pose and just take a moment feeling your spine. Notice what's going on for you. Arms at shoulder level. Bend your elbows, fingertips together. Pull the elbows back, separating the fingers. Keep those elbows at shoulder level. Fingertips back together. Inhale, arms to the front, out to the sides, toward the back, as far as they want to go. And then again, back all the way to the front. Fingertips together, everything right at shoulder level. Elbows back, fingertips together. Stretch way out and back and into fingertips together. Release back into mountain pose. Circle those shoulders up and down a couple of times. And then turn your feet a little bit out. Bend your knees toward your toes, not beyond. Hands above the knees. Position, don't support, no pressure. We're going to bring one shoulder across toward the opposite knee. So really stretch the spine apart. It's a twist and bring the shoulder all the way across and down as far as it wants to go, whole body turning toward that side. Stretch the sitting bones and crown away from each other, just deepen as much as you want, bringing that shoulder down and across. And return to the center. Remember, no pressure in your knees. Stretch the spine apart, come the other direction, shoulder coming across and down, whole body turning toward the side. So you're getting a good twist through the whole length of your spine from the sitting bones, tailbone area, all the way to your neck. Take a breath, deepening. And then return to the center. Exhale, drop your hands, coming into that ragdoll. And again, slowly from the bottom of the spine, you wind back to the top. And turn your toes to the front, back into mountain pose. Take a moment, breathing. Bring your arms out at shoulder level, shoulder blades down. Bring your thumbs into the palms and wrap your fingers around gently. Turn one up and one down. Rotate, doing the other direction. Just back and forth, one up and one down. Just fists moving as you go. Then bring your lower arm into that rotation with you. Keep those arms at shoulder level. Push out through the pit fists as you rotate. Bring your upper arms along with the lower arms and fists into that rotation. And then your shoulders. Really moving the shoulder forward as the fist goes down and pulling it back and around as the fist goes up. All the way into the middle of the spine, put that whole upper body moving with those fists. Breathe with it, stretch it out, keep the crown reaching high, and then adjust the shoulders and arms, fists, and then adjust the arms and fists. Just the lower arms and fists. Just the fists. And then both fists facing down, push out through those fists, right at shoulder level. Spread your fingers out, stretch those fingers out, reach those fingers out, round home the sitting bones down, spread through the whole length of your spine. And then shake it out and release. Feel the shoulders, feel the arms, a little bit more work there. Take a breath, bring your hands onto your back. So heels of the palms at your lower shoulder blades, fingertips down toward your hips, and then pull your elbows toward each other. 
Press the palms gently into your low back. Keep the hips above your ankles. Rotate your face to look up. You keep that neck stretching out through the base of the skull, out through the crown. Lift your heart, come into as much of a back bend in that supported version as you'd like. Keep the elbows moving toward each other, really feel that heart area opening across the front. Stretch and breathe, lengthening, and then chin toward your chest and release back upright and arms into mat pose. And then back stroke and swimming, getting those arms and shoulders moving. Take a few breaths as you're doing that. Just letting things release and relax. And back into mountain pose. Bring your hands to your heart. We'll look at them and inhale, hands toward the ceiling. Bring your thumbs back behind you, another unsupported back bend. Exhale, follow your hands to your heart, pivot at your hips. Exhale into right dog. And slide up under your under your knees on your shins. Stretch and straighten elbows, knees, and spine straight. Look at the floor, stretch out through the back of your Exhale, bend your knees and come all the way down into child's pose, transitioning to the floor. Hands, palms up, forehead rounding down toward the floor in front of you. Take a moment to breathe, hips back as far onto your heels as they want to go. Pull the knees toward each other and get a good stretch through your lower back. Take a moment to breathe and exhale, just release any tension. And inhale, sitting up, bring your legs out to the front, into staff position. Sitting bones behind you, press out through your heels, shoulders and shoulder blades toward your waist. And then oh, let's go into a cross leg position. And remember, creatures of habit, you always do the same way. So switch it the other direction, other foot in front or on top. So sitting bones still behind you for supporting you, shoulders back and down, round toward the ceiling, bring your chin into your little throat center indentation at the base of your throat. So just take a moment there, relax the shoulders. Just relax the legs as well. Take a moment to breathe. And then bring your hands one at a time to the back of your head. Don't press, just add a little weight. So a good stretch through the back of your neck. Take a moment to breathe. Exhaling tension. Just let that stretch lengthen through the whole back of your neck. Keep the rest of your spine upright. Keep that core supporting your lower back. Take a breath. As you exhale, just feel that deep and a little bit more. And then releasing your hands. Keep your head back upright. Round toward the ceiling. Take a moment to feel that neck a little warmer. Bring your chin forward and up. Keep stretching now through the back of your neck, not through the base of your skull. Move your jaw around, forward and back, side to side, circle it, scrunch your face. Feel that front of your throat giving a little stretch. And then back to neutral with your jaw. And tip your head upright. Take a moment, feeling that all through your neck and throat. And let's switch our legs around so that we're evenly distributing our effort in our lower body. And we're going to move the head to the sides for our shoulder stretch. So bring one ear without raising your shoulders over to the side. So both shoulders stay down. No need for that ear to go to the shoulder, just lean it toward the side, everything facing the front. Take a moment there, just feeling that stretch begin along that opposite side. As that ear comes maybe a little closer toward your shoulder, both shoulders stay down. Bring the hand you're tipping toward up, just again, weight onto the side of your head, not pressure. Feel that ear maybe move a little bit more and that stretch maximize on the other side. If that's not enough for you, you can put your hand down on the floor, fingertips or palm down, 
and feel it even a little bit more stretch. Now relax as you're there because relaxed muscles stretch more. Exhale any tension, let it go. Take a breath, just releasing any tightness. And then the hand on the floor, bring it back up. The hand on your head, bring it back down. And tip your head back to the center. Feel the difference. That's the yoga of it. Make sure you're noticing what's going on. And of course, we're going to balance and do the other way. So shoulders staying down. Tip your ear over on the other side. And again, both shoulders stay even, relaxing down as you tip that ear. Just feel the stretch on the opposite side. Hand coming up, adding weight, not pressure. And just again, feeling that ear maybe go a little further and that stretch deepen on the opposite shoulder. And to the floor, if you want a little bit more lengthening through that side, maximize or minimize, remember personal practice, whatever's right for you. Notice one side may be tighter than the other. That's because we're habitual people and we do things all the time one way and we forget to balance things out and do them the other. But this time we're doing both because we're in our yoga, being conscious of what we're doing. Take a breath, just relaxing, letting that stretch release any tension. Hand on the floor comes back to your lap. Hand on your head comes back down to the center and tip your head upright. Stretch the spine apart and exhale any tension. And let's switch the legs once more. Again, coming into sitting bones behind you, core active and spine straight. We're going to stretch that spine apart, especially through the neck, so that we can twist into our backing out of the driveway position. So turning your chin toward the shoulder. Just turning your head, keeping that crown up toward the ceiling. Keep lengthening through the spine, getting those bones having room to move. Exhale, deepen as much as your shoulder or your neck wants. Shoulders both face the front. Stretch up. Exhale, chin back to the center. Keep stretching and exhale, chin to the opposite side. And again, the crown goes high. The sitting bones are down, slightly behind you. The shoulders relax toward your waist. And that neck area just gets a good backing out of the driveway. Just take a breath. Relax. Brown high, stretch it up as you turn back to the center. Feel the neck a little bit more stimulated. And one more time, we're going to switch our legs around. Bring one hand to the floor, the other arm out to the side, palm up, hand above your shoulder. Slide over, arm next to your ear, the other one sliding out along the neck. Bend your elbow, bringing the forearm to the floor if you like to stretch. But remember, keep the hip bone you're leaning away from down, sitting bone down. So the sitting bones both stay on the floor for that side of your body to stretch open. Reach your head and fingertips up and out, everything facing the feet. And slide back up, shoulder down, bring the arm out onto the floor and to your side. And we're going to do the other one. Arm out, palm up, hand above your shoulder. Keep that shoulder, shoulder leg going towards your waist. Slide the other hand away along the neck. Arm by your ear, reach out through your head and fingertips. Keep that hip you're leaning away from down, sitting bone on the floor as much as you can. Take a breath, bend the elbow for that extra, but keep the sitting bone down. Stretch through the ribs, out through that whole side of your body. Keep everything facing the front. Stretch the crown away along with the fingertips. And again, slide back up. Exhale the arm out onto the floor. And down. Shoulders circling back and down. And lift your knees. Bring the feet out to the front. Take a moment there. Just breathe and relax. Mm. 
Bring one arm out, turn the palm toward the center, and keep the arm at shoulder level, bend the elbow, bring the fingertips up, and then shift that arm slightly toward the center of your nose at shoulder level with the elbow and the shoulder. Other arm out, palm toward the floor, sling it under, see if you can touch your palms together with those thumbs right in front of your nose. If that doesn't work, back of the hands together. Feel that stretch across the back of your shoulders. Pull your elbows down and in. Relax. Exhale, tension. And then push your elbows out and your fingertips up toward the ceiling. So as high as they want to go, eagle arms. Take a breath. Just relax across your shoulders. Through your arms. Breathe. Relax it. Put it out and up maybe a little bit more. And keep those shoulders relaxing down. And then unwind and work those arms back around. Take a breath. Tension out. And of course, we're going to balance and do the other one. Other arm out. Bend the elbow. Keep it at shoulder level. Fingertips up. Move those arm, that arm into the center. Other arm out. Keep the shoulder down. Palm toward the floor. Leg it under. See if you can touch those palms this time. Your eyes back of the hands. Thumbs right by your nose. Pull the elbows down and in. Feel that stretch across the upper shoulders and back. Take a breath. Just relax into it. And then push your elbows out slightly. Push your hands up toward the ceiling. And again, fingertips straight up, arms right in front of your nose, and shoulders relaxing as much as you can, getting that stretch a little bit more through the shoulders. Elbows out and fingertips up, maybe a little bit further. Take a breath. In your eel arms, just relax. And fly away, arms releasing out, and shoulders relaxing. Take a moment and breathe. Bring your chin down to that throat center indentation. Roll your chin over toward one shoulder. Lift it up toward the ceiling, looking roll over to the center, over to the other side. Bring the chin down to your shoulder. Roll it down to your heart. Do that same circuit again, over to the shoulder. Up, lifting the chin, keep the base of the skull going out and away as you roll across. Keep it stretching out as you bring the chin down and back to the center. As you get back to the center, just pause a moment and go the other way. Chin to the shoulder, up toward the ceiling, roll it across, all the way down, and back to the center. Same direction, over to the shoulder, up to the ceiling, roll it to the middle, stretch out through that base of your neck, keep the shoulders relaxed, over to the side, back to the center with your chin. Tip your head back upright and stretch that spine apart, bring your feet to the end of the mat, sitting bones behind you, and bring up. Slowly use the core for support to roll onto the floor. As you come into corpse position, just take a moment, relax your shoulders down, bring the arms out, palms up at shoulder level. T position, sitting bones toward your heels, bend your knees, bring the heels in near your sitting bones, press the back down, knees straight up, lift your feet off the floor. Cross your leg over the other one if you want extra low back stretch, otherwise keep them next to each other. I'm going to roll the knees over to one side as you turn your head to look toward the opposite arm. So, knee coming down, lower back twist, head turning, neck area twist. Keep all those bones of your spine stretching apart so they can move. Shoulders down, that middle back is in the twist as much as possible. As you let those knees go over to one side and the head to the other with the shoulders on the floor. Take a breath. 
And then heels toward your hips, roll onto your back. If your legs are crossed, and cross. You can bring your feet to the floor and straighten. And then again, feet up, knees above your hips. Cross the leg if you're crossing on this side. And roll knees over. Turn your head the opposite direction. And again, just take a moment to breathe and relax. Keep those shoulders down. Let those knees come as far toward the floor as your lower back twist wants. And turn your head as much as your neck wants to twist. Keep the spine stretching apart from the chest. That makes it easier to move a little deeper. Exhale, just relaxing. Shoulders down, breathe in. And of course, on your own, you hold these twists longer, but we need to relax. So, heels toward your hips, roll onto your back, come across your knees, feet to the floor, slide the legs out, and come into corpse position for our final relaxation. Hands near your sides, palms up, shoulders, shoulder blades jam toward the floor. Feel that heart nice and open, toes toward each other, and then just let the legs relax. Scrunch your face. Exhale, let it soften. Move your jaw around. Circle it a couple of times each way. We're already done. Shoulders back and down into the floor. Take a deep breath. Exhale, just let your body grow up heavy and sit. And just deepen into that earth embrace, letting your body go. No need to pay attention to anything in your body. Just let it release and relax, supported by the earth. And as your body sinks into Mother Earth embrace, just let thoughts of your body release from your awareness. And as other thoughts come to your attention, know that it's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. At this moment, you can choose to let those thoughts float away as easily as you like. No need to pay attention. No need to remember the past. No need to anticipate the future. Just so let the thoughts flow in and out as easily as you like. And as your breath deepens and your thoughts flow freely without attention, just let your awareness turn inward to the peace within you. Find the peace, feel your body, feel your mind, feel your entire being with peace. And just take a few moments to be peace. If you have time to keep releasing and relaxing today, just take your time. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, then begin drawing energy and awareness with your breath back to the moment, to the way, to your body. As you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however feels good for you today. Move your feet, your ankles, stretch your arms, Breathe more fully and stretch more completely however feels right for you. And whenever you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels, heels up toward your hips, and draw your knees toward your heart. Wrap your arms around without appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, bring your head and feet to the floor. 
roll to the side and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.